The biomedical science have been around now for one century. During the last 30 years alone, millions of scientific articles have been made possible because of fetal bovine serum. FPS is a needed growth supplement for a large percentage of cells used in the past and today in many applications. The information produced from mammalian cell culture impacts almost every part of academic research and the life science industry. And FPS is essential for the production of life-saving therapeutics. In all of these areas, FPS is the essential component for success. These activities greatly improve the quality of human and animal life, while also considerably increasing life expectancy. In vitro cell culture is an amazing advancement, allowing us to reproduce the same mechanisms which occur in vivo and test the effect of different substances in a particular cell line. The use of in vitro cell culture is responsible for reducing experiments with live animals. Cell culture techniques also allow the advancement of medical innovations. Remarkable developments have been made possible because of the availability of FPS. FPS provides nearly all of the components required for both adherent and suspension cell cultures, most of which are not yet chemically defined. But do you know exactly how it is produced? Milk from cows is part of the food chain and the livelihood for millions of families across the world. At the end of their life cycle, cows are slaughtered for meat, leather and high-value pharmaceutical byproducts such as insulin, heparin and chondroitin, as well as other ingredients used in biotechnology. The value chain of FBS starts with the slaughterhouse where it is collected. The abattoir is strictly controlled. Biological safety is regulated by EU rules on animal products. The official disease and animal health status of each country where blood is collected is verified or monitored by the OIE, the World Organization for Animal Health. The OIE has established guidelines for slaughter activities, taking into account animal welfare. Sometimes cows sold for slaughter happen to be pregnant without the farmer being aware. In such cases, the serum industry is harvesting the blood that forms part of the fetal tissue before it is mixed with other inedible material for meat and bone meal, turning it into the most valuable byproduct derived from the cow. When the cow is slaughtered, the fetal carcass is removed and disinfected prior to the collection of blood, which is done in a completely hygienic and closed system. The blood is then placed on ice or refrigerated at 5 Celsius degrees to allow clotting. OIE ethical guidelines prescribe maximum utilization of all parts of slaughtered animals as well as adherence to the three R's – reduce, replace and refine. The serum industry helps comply with these goals by collecting the blood from the fetus. Transportation time allows for completion of the clotting process, which is vital for the activation of the growth factors. The bags containing the clotted blood are then transported on ice to a local processing facility. The clotted blood is then centrifuged to obtain the raw serum before being frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The raw serum is then transported to the production plant for final processing. The raw serum is thawed the night before processing, then sterilized through a series of filters and finally pooled and homogenized prior to aseptically filling sterile bottles with the finished product. The final product is delivered with a certificate of analysis which is backed up by quality control procedures at every stage of the process. Each of these steps is necessary to assure high-quality FBS product in compliance with ethical considerations, transparency and trust in the quality of the final product. Harvesting fetal bovine serum saves human and animal lives and helps replace and reduce the use of live animals for research and testing. If you want to know more about the miracles achieved by using FBS, contact one of the ESPA members.